at YouTube. Um, unfortunately, I did not make the trip up to the Columbus Coin Show. Uh, there is a reason for that, and I will explain that to you guys uh, as the video progresses. Um, and since that uh, Columbus Coin Show is once, it's April, well, actually, it's every third Sunday of every month, I won't be making it up there this month. I do have plans to go to other coin shows. I have changed the way I talk about um, my plans to, well, I'm going to change the way I talk about my plans to go to uh, upcoming coin shows and events and even to um, local coin stores. Uh, something was brought to my attention that I'll share with you guys. Uh, you know, my better half, my wife, has uh, opened my mind to a few things that should have been pretty obvious to me but weren't and I will share all that with you guys so if you're interested to know why I didn't go to the Columbus Coin Show and how I changed going to events in the future please stick around. I found this article right here in the Washington Post uh, it was written by a guy named Justin Jovino uh, in uh, June uh, 2012. And it's about this guy up here, Mr. Uh, Julian Liebman. He owns a coin shop in uh, Silver Springs. And apparently in 2009, Mr. Liebman uh, took uh, $4 million of his merchandise to a coin show in Maryland. And uh, police say that thieves followed him to the coin show, surveilled him, or basically stalked him while he was at the coin show. And then when he packed up his merchandise to leave, they followed him. They were all waiting for an opportunity to uh, rob him. So what Mr. Liebman did on his way home, back to Silver Springs from Maryland, he stopped at a diner on uh, Interstate 95. And uh, I'll leave a, a link to this article uh, in the description so you can go back and read it if you want to. But apparently he, he stopped on the Interstate 95 to um, get himself something to eat. So he parked his minivan uh, in a place where he could keep an eye on it. Well, the thieves busted the window on the side of his van that he could not see. And they uh, perpetrated uh, the biggest coin heist in U.S. history. Yes, they stole um, a lot of Mr. Liebman's merchandise. Uh, according to the article, they stole um, 2,000 vintage coins and banknotes along with uh, some very rare $20 gold pieces. Uh, in all, they got away with half a million dollars worth of Mr. Liebman's merchandise. Now, um, why am I... Um, telling you guys this well <laughs> uh if you watched my last video i basically told uh everybody that watched that video that i was going to the columbus coin show what day i was going there the coin show is from 10 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon so i basically told you exactly where i was going to be what time frame was where i was coming from and the fact and this is really stupid and the fact that I was going to have lots of cash on me. I was going to buy a lot of constitutional silver and I was going to have at least enough money to buy a 100 ounce bar. Uh, you can do the math on that. That was the probably the dumbest thing I've ever done uh, in my life. I am so embarrassed. So embarrassed about that. My wife told me I basically told people where I was going to be when I was going to be there, how I was getting there, and uh, that I was going to have lots of money on me. Um, bonehead move. Very bonehead move. And I just want to make that clear to everybody watching. That was a very stupid thing to do. Um, security. Now, I'm not, one of the, I'm not paranoid. I don't live my life uh, worried that something's going to happen to me. Uh, but my wife pointed that out to me. And it's not just about me. It's about her as well. And she was concerned about my safety, so she asked me not to go. So I decided not to go to the Columbus Coin Show. Now, would something have happened to me? Probably not. I don't believe something would have happened to me. But I think I need to just take a, a couple of breaths 
uh, you know, kind of look over the way I, uh, the information that I present in these videos. Uh, a lot of it's some personal information. I need to start uh, doing some reassessments on how I talk about what I do. So I think what I need to do and what is prudent is to make the video and then talk about the details of the video after I post it. So you guys will see everything will be exactly the way it's always been. It'll be just that I have decided to um, post the video first and, and, um, and so all the details will be in it. So I won't tell you guys about upcoming trips to the coin show or to the local coin stores and stuff like that because, you know, there are criminals out there. They are out there. They're everywhere. Um, I don't live my life like I told you, uh, worried that I'm going to be robbed or something's going to happen to me. But, um, you know, we, we have to be smart. We have to be smart about what we do. Uh, we're talking about you know, lots of money. If you stack silver, silver's worth money. Um, you're going to have to have money to actually go and get your silver. And then when you buy your silver or, or your precious metals, you're going to have to transport it somewhere. And um, making a giving people, <laughs> giving the audience an itinerary and an inventory of what you're doing is just not very smart at all. And so I will take responsibility for that. And I'll just put myself out there for everybody to see. That was a pretty bonehead thing to do. So I'm going to change the way I do that in the future. Um, and it's just, a, it's just a smart thing to do. Okay, but I did go to, um, I mean, I needed to get my, uh, my silver fix. <laughs> so I did go to um, Franklin Street Coin and I did buy some silver. And I'm going to show you guys what I bought. And I am going to be going to future coin shows. There's no question about that. I'm going to continue to do the, um, the interviews with uh, local coin store owners and, uh, and the like. Um, but I'm just going to change the way I talk about it. I'm not going to be so forthcoming with when I'm going, where I'm going, how long I'm going to be there, and what I plan to buy. All that stuff will be in the video, but it'll be in the video after it's already done. Um, so basically, that's how we're going to do that. So uh, let me show you guys uh, what I bought. All right. So this is what I managed to pick up from uh, Franklin Street Coin. Now, I didn't even film that um, <laughs> that trip down there. I mean, I was a little thrown off by the whole idea of the Columbus trip. And just, you know, you think about these the uh, making YouTube videos, all of uh, you guys out there that hey, guys and, and gals, I should say, <laughs> I kind of get comments every now and then about not saying uh, saying guys too much, but anyway, uh, if you make videos, and you you want the videos to be good. You want to you want the uh, you know the people that you're talking to to kind of relate to you and kind of you know kind of have a rapport with you. And when you do something, you know when you when you make a stupid video like the one I made about um, going up to the Columbus Coin Show, it kind of throws everything off. Well, it did for me. So I did go down to uh, Franklin Street Coin just to kind of you know kind of keep. Uh, some kind of continuity with my plans to go and buy silver. Uh, so I went down there and talked to him a little bit about that. And I guess I, I should have recorded what we talked about. But, you know, he gave me a little bit of encouragement. And he said, you know, you, you can't be too careful really about, um, you know, your precious metals and all that. I mean, we get so, uh, I should just keep using myself for an example. I mean, I get so uh, comfortable with talking to you guys and making these videos that sometimes I, um, I, don't, I don't think things through before I do them. Uh, in a, a few videos back, and I'm sure some of you will remember, uh, I actually included my phone number, my personal cell number, in one of the videos, just in one of the, um, in some of the information that I was giving you guys. I was, I think I was showing a receipt or something. I can't remember exactly what it was, like a something, and uh, it had my personal phone number in it. And uh, I went through, edited the video, all that, never caught it, not once, and posted the video. And sure enough, one of the one of you guys out there um, put in the comments, "Look, man, you got your, your personal phone number in the video," and um, and it was already over like two or three hundred views already. I mean, it wasn't very didn't go very long before I, before I uh, the the, uh, the viewer commented, but I did stop it, pull that video, and then edited it and put it back up there. But that's just another example of you know just you really if you're making these videos. Uh, especially me I mean I get so comfortable uh, talking to you guys so comfortable with relating the information that I get to you guys that I just stop I stop really being uh, cautious 
Um, but you know, I'm not going to live my life uh, being cautious. I'm not going to live my life where I'm worried about um, things that are going to happen to me. Now, am I going to be a lot more careful in the future? Uh, yeah, I believe I am. Um, <laughs> my wife is really uh, my my conscience, my voice of reason. Uh, I mean, she um, she's pointed out several things that you guys have never seen in the videos because uh, she always watches them before I actually post them. And there's so many things that she catches. And most of them are just aesthetic stuff, you know, things in the in, that can be edited and stuff like that. It's not really, you know, giving out personal information or anything, but she, she catches stuff like that. And it's good to have somebody that uh, can kind of look over your videos before you post them because, you know, you get in a, in a, in a, in a zone and you miss things. Uh, like I've seen a lot of videos too where I've seen things in the video that I'm sure the uh, person that put it in the video didn't intend for it to be there. But anyway, I don't want to dwell too much on that. I mean, I just, I'm glad I got you guys to talk to and uh, you know, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying my videos. I mean, my, my, um, my subscribers are, are growing. So um, that tells me that you guys are, are kind of in favor of some of the things that I do and you like the content that I'm putting out. And I'm going to continue to do that. But, um, you know, I had to make this video. I really thought hard about just not even making the video, just not even talking about the Columbus trip and, you know, my ideas and all that stuff about, um, you know, why I didn't do it, didn't go up to the Columbus Corn Show, because like I said, it was very embarrassing to me. Uh, but, you know, the thing is, is I want to keep it real. I mean, that is the motto of my uh, videos, keeping it real. And I want to do that. I want to keep it real with you guys. I want to uh, be as honest and as open as I can. Um, but I'm going to have to start thinking things through a little bit more before I actually start um, start posting the videos. But anyway, so this is the, these are the video, these are the, the coins that you just you guys just saw, and some rounds. Um, it's going to be added to the stack. Uh, I needed those. Um, you know, he had these uh, four eagles right here. Um, I don't know. He didn't have any more. He didn't have any more eagles. Uh, I went up there to fill this tube up. I was going to buy. Uh, the remaining, there's five in there. I was going to buy 15 more to put in there to go ahead and complete this too, but Phil didn't even have any. He had four more. That was it, the ones that you guys just saw. So I bought those four. I'm going to add them to these five right here. That's nine. So when I go back, hopefully he'll have 11. I'll go ahead and pick 11 up from him and complete this too. I don't like buying them piecemeal like this, especially Eagles. I like buying them by the two. I save for them. If I don't have enough to buy the two right off, I save save the money like um there's a lot of uh coins that i buy a lot of coins like eagles maple leaves stuff like that that i buy that you guys don't necessarily see one because everybody's seen eagles and two i don't want to keep a video inventory of my stack i don't want anybody to be able to just go back and pull my videos and see my entire stack my entire um collection of silver um, that's just a personal thing. I'm not downing anybody for doing that, but it's a personal thing with me. I don't, I don't want to personally do full stack videos. I've been asked on several occasions to do a full stack video, but it's just not me. Uh, it's almost like you know going up to a guy and asking him what he has in his wallet, or asking somebody what they have in their bank account. Uh, to me, it's a personal choice. I just, I just don't think um, I'm just not attracted to that type of content in my video. Uh, I enjoy watching the full stack videos. I'm sure that sounds pretty hypocritical. I enjoy watching the full stack videos, but for me, it's just not, uh, just not something for me. All right, so this booklet right here I got from the last time I was up at the Columbus Coin Show. Uh, you guys saw I showed you this in the video, and there were some spots in there that need to be filled. I decided to just buy some, um, some Walking Liberties just to fill those those spaces in there. I mean, who knows? In the future, I might look at the dates and. Uh, try to um, you know feel you know go through my um, walking liberties and see if I got the dates that uh, correspond to the uh, to the uh, opening in this folder but for right now it's just about the weight you guys know me it's all about weight it's all about the amount of ounces in my stack not so much about the condition or the numismatic value um, so anyway I like I appreciate you guys uh, stopping by I appreciate you guys showing me love uh, if you like what you see you like the content go ahead and uh, subscribe if you if you uh, want to see more stuff like this, um, if you if you uh, you know inclined to go ahead and leave me a comment, let me know how I'm doing, uh, good or bad. I, I appreciate it all, and uh, let's just keep this silver chain moving. I mean, um, you know, this was kind of more of a personal video than anything else, but uh, 
appreciate you guys. Um, appreciate your time. I know you could have been anywhere else today, but um, anyway, so uh, my next uh, trip is going to be uh, private. <laughs> you guys will see it after the video is posted. Uh, and we'll see how that works. I mean, I'm not going to leave anything out. I'm still going to be open and honest with you guys. So anyway, that's all I want to say about that. I thank you guys for stopping by and showing me love. So let's just uh, keep doing what we do. Keep stacking. Peace.